Okay, here we are at Fitzharris Manor site. Piece of paper, can't remember all of this. Fitzharris Manor was just of the North Historic Centre of Abingdon. It was surrounded by ornamental grounds and paddocks and also held farmland encircling the north and west of Abingdon, from Northcourt to Shipham. The house was demolished in 1953 here, but many professional record photographs and architectural drawings exist in the National Archives. Much of the boundary wall separating the estate from the town survives running between Bath Street and the Vineyard. The only surviving buildings, formerly the stables, coach house and workyard estate, can be seen on the south of Letcombe Avenue. Just dropped a picture in for that. The new estate was given an attractive low density layout with generous open spaces and only seven houses per acre. Mature trees and shrubs remained on the old estate and others were planted. So let's go and have a look around the site of Fitzharris Manor. Right, here we are at ground level. This is where the Fitzharris Manor once stood. Caroline over there doing some photos of the plaque. Right, here's a wall, so we're going to get that. This is all part of it, not sure exactly what part, guess in the front. Alright, it's the wall of Fitzharris Manor. Might be a boundary wall down there. Sutton Close. It's going to walk down to the bottom. Boundary wall, I guess, was to do with the house. Let's go and have a look. Looking at a little bit of path here, no grass, I would say this is walked over. Yeah. How many times has this been walked over? Worn out there. And there's the boundary wall into Withington Court. Right down the alleyway from where we've just been, corner of where the big grass area is. And here's the stable block. This is a throwback from the manor. Only sort of thing it survives now. <laughs> Been here before. I think this is an SEB substation. Electricity board. Yeah. Little substation in there now. Right, here we are. This is what's left, maybe some sort of garages, not sure. Garages, yeah, no doubt the people have got a garage have got a key. Get in, there we are, yeah, garages. As Caroline said, I reckon this has been yeah. filled in. There was something there, way in. Door, stables, possibly horses poking out this way. That's been filled in, whatever that was, it's just, it's garages now, a whole lots of garage block is my guess little substation in the corner you can't see but yeah right there we are that's the last remaining bit of Fitzharris Manor
that's how this castle was built near Abingdon between 1071 and 1084 in the aftermath of the Norman invasion of England by a probable Norman knight called Owen. The castle formed a motte 78 feet by 68 feet across, protected by a stream that flowed around the motte to produce a moat. In due course, the castle was supplemented by the nearby manor house called Fitzharris, but it remained on the motte as late as 1247, probably for defensive purposes. The castle is now owned by local authority, but is considered by English heritage to be at risk of erosion due to vista numbers. The site is a scheduled monument. So let's go and have a look around this pile of earth. Right, there's the plaque. We're going to have a little look around the mound here. There is a picture that exists of this, so I'll cut that in. A painting of some sort, certainly not a photo, not in 1200. Okay, let's go have a look at the top of Fitzalice Castle Mount. Long gone, but this is where it was. Always gets wet here, look. Still got water in it from anything December onwards. There's the moat, always floods, still wet. Wouldn't want to go down there. There's a mound of earth now, not really anything here, but it's nice in its day. Still looking quite wet here. And there's the stream, it goes around it, still there. Sturt Stream ends up at the Thames at the end on the outskirts of Abingdon. So there's the stream, and there's the Fitzharris Castle site. Right, here we are at the Fitzharris Castle Mound, so let's see what we can see. I've blown on. <laughs> 